hello guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a semi-productive vlog yeah i know that i haven't uploaded in a while i'm really sorry for that it was mainly because i was on a break uh, which i really needed now i'm back so hope you guys understand so without further ado let's get on with the video so after my calm morning routine i started by reading my book the book that i'm currently reading is think straight it's a highly recommended book so these are the syllabus completed for my neat preparation we have completed all these chapters and the all the ticked ones are the one that i've revised twice or thrice and for school we just started so it's going slow so guys i want to talk to you guys about the book that i'm currently using which is ncrt extract from disha publication where we can learn and revise as well as practice a whole different types of questions so the one i have right now is the seventh edition which captures every line of class 11th and 12th ncrt so the full theory of ncrt is converted into one liner format this book also includes ncrt topical notes with ncrt example problems along with different questions like assertion and reason that also includes neat past year mcqs along with some tips and tricks to enhance learning so on biology all the chapters are classified into zoology and botany well i guess this is a must-have book for class 11th and 12th students so make sure to check them out i'll provide a link in the description box down below also these books are available on physics chemistry and biology so make sure to check them out i'll provide the link in the description box down below so basically this was my second last day of window break we had quite like a long break but i felt like it ended up too quickly even though when we had like 10 days and this is the only time that i took my book like I haven't touched my book all those days. I was just sitting on my couch and watching TV shows. And finally, I remembered that I have a botany exam, which is like I have two exams and of two chapters. And I was like, oh my God, I need to study now. And that's when I started cramming for the exam. At first, I, I took it too slow, like really slow. I was like, yeah, okay, I can finish it off. But it got like a whole night cramming later that you will see in the video no you won't see that in the video because i did not film that because i was just too focused on completing and like finishing the chapter so i didn't get much time to film so basically me preparing for the exam is what you will see in the first half of this vlog one thing that i've learned uh, is to have law 5 music when while you're studying because it helps to focus for longer hours and that really did help me like i was like sitting in a one place for like an hour with full concentration like it's rare to for me to sit at a place without losing my focus recently i've started using my ipad more efficiently especially for note taking and i have quite improved a bit in note taking as well and definitely it was worth buying it so after an hour i felt like taking a break Oh, 
this is what my typical night routine looks like. But first, pause. This video is brought to you by Cat. We're literally showering together right now. I love that for us. And if this is your first time watching me, first impression of me, just know. After that mini break, I did some admin task. You know, you have to keep up with <laughs> YouTube. And then I replied to some comments. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for your love and support. And I know you guys have been frustrated because I'm not uploading. As I've said, it's just because I I was on a break. And then I continued cramming for the exam. Even though it's been an hour, I was only able to complete half of the chapter. The other half was still left. However, I was able to complete at least one chapter at night. But the funny story is that teacher never conducted the exam. And on the day she said, okay, let's move on to the next chapter, which is morphology of flowering plants. And everyone's like, what? Wow, thanks. So basically, it was an unnecessary stress. So later in the evening, I ended up working on my notion setup because I was just so inspired and I just really felt the need to work on my notion for this year. And this is the overview of the setup. <laughs> It's actually 7.24 and I, it's been two days since I filmed last film, so I thought I would film again <laughs> because I was super busy the other day, just so much to do, so now I'm actually back, oh, yeah, so let's start the vlog. So long story short, I wasn't able to film in between days because I was just too exhausted to film and I I was productive but I was just too tired to film. So I had school yesterday and this is basically my school night because I have school tomorrow as well. So here I was working on my English homework. So after dinner, I was going to complete my notebook. Teacher had sent the notes. We just have to copy it. And one thing that I like to do when I'm actually coping stuff is to watch something so that it's it becomes less boring. And to be honest, I ended up writing for an hour without, you know, even feeling bored. It just, it just went with the flow. I was not forcing myself to write. I was happy and I got work done. So basically, we don't have to force ourselves in order to be productive. You can just let it go and go with the flow. And what matters the most is that I should enjoy the process and I should be happier. And that's what I'm looking forward for this year where I will be not forcing myself to be productive. I will just go with the flow and just take it, take my time and, you know, just feel good and be happy. That's what matters the most. So basically after completing my homework, uh, the next thing that I did is to go through the chapter and this is the chapter that will be taken tomorrow in the class. So reading it in advance will help me to understand the chapter while it's been taken. <music> So the last thing to do before going to bed is to go through my lecture notes because most of the time the teachers ask questions and if you don't get the answer, it kind of get awkward. So I always like to go through the lecture notes uh, to avoid that. And here I was going through my physics and chemistry lecture notes. It is really important for me to stay on top of things or else I'll get frustrated, I'll get mad at myself. I always make sure that everything is okay before I go to school.